Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello, welcome back to Morning Mindset, and I'm excited to record this particular episode of Morning Mindset because the topic suggestion came from one of you. Yes, that's right. I have a wife who also is my email sorting person, and uh, she sorts through the info at morningmindsetpodcast.com box. She sorts through the inbox and lets me know. Now, most of the stuff that comes in the inbox, I will have to admit to you, is Chinese spam. But after we sort through all the Chinese spam, every once in a while, we come across something that is actually valuable and that may uh, have value to other people besides uh, myself and the person who wrote the email. That's a uh, a very... uh, I want to let you guys know that if you want to ask a question and you, you want the response on the radio or on the podcast, when we choose questions or topics to discuss on our shows, what we have to do is we have to look at it because we get a lot of questions. We have to look at it and say, will this benefit only the person who asked the question or will this topic or will this question probably benefit a wide variety or a wide range of people? Will other people benefit besides just the person who asked the question? For instance, you know, and I've used it before, people say, if you write me a letter, say, uh, where can I go to get a hunting license in Oregon? All right, that's pretty specific, right? You know, I live in Eugene, Oregon. Where can I go to get a hunting license? If I answer that question on the podcast, very few people will actually get benefit from that. But uh, if I ask, if, for instance, this one today, and it's titled, What to Leave In and What to Leave Out. And thank you, Kevin, for the topic suggestion. Kevin wrote us a letter, and he said uh, that, uh, like the old Bob Seger song, the lyric from the old Bob Seger song, and I believe it was the song was Against the Wind. And uh, one of the things is he said, uh, what to leave in and what to leave out, or what to leave out and what to leave in. I'm not sure which uh, way he phrased it. But the fact of the matter is, is Kevin said there's so much available to us. There's so much information, podcasts, YouTube channels, app television, radio shows, books. There is so much available to the consumer today instantly. I mean, it's available instantly thanks to the miracle of the internet and and iTunes and all that jazz. How does a person know what to leave in and what to leave out? How do you know what to spend your time on? Now, I've talked about this subject previously on my other show. People will ask things like, uh, how do I know that the instructor that I'm going to take a class from is a good instructor? Or how do I know that 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 school is a good school? Or how will I know that this class is a valuable class? And I say, well, the, the truth of the matter is, if you're a complete and total novice, if you have almost no education or experience in that field, you're not going to know. Let's say you want to become an automobile mechanic and you want to go to a class or a school or you know a seminar or what have you uh, about transmissions or what have you. If you've never done that, you're not going to know whether the class you just went to or the class you're going to is the best one available it, or the worst one available. You're not going to know if the instructor is the best instructor or if he's just faking it to get by because you have no basis for understanding. So what you're going to have to do, I mean, and this is how humans have always been, uh, but I think the confusion that the Internet has created with all of these podcasts and blogs and YouTube channels and You know, all the information that's available instantly on demand, people become overwhelmed. They don't know where to start. Well, 
it's really no more difficult than this. The more education and experience that you have, the easier it will be to separate fact from bullcrap. Education. Education is training. Education can be come from reading books. Education can come from watching videos. And you say, yeah, but if I watch a video, I'm not going to know. Well, you don't just watch one. You don't just take one class. And, of course, experience is putting that education, that training, all that information that you've gathered, that skill, experience is putting it into practice. Yeah, I'm out here in Wyoming, and uh, every fall, people come to Wyoming from outside of the state so they can hunt our big game. They hunt the antelope and the mule deer. They hunt the elk, sometimes the moose. uh, And uh, they come from other places, and they're coming here to work with our guides, our hunting guides. Why do they work with our hunting guides? Why don't they just do it on their own? Well, they work with our hunting guides because not only do our hunting guides have a lot of education, but they have a tremendous amount of experience. So they can separate pretty much immediately the fact from the bull crap. Experience, actually putting your education into practice. I was talking to someone recently who was a a professional fishing guide, and he said that people would show up. He'd been guiding you know, fishing trips for almost 30 years, but people would show up and they had read an article in a magazine. And so they believed that because they read an article in a magazine that they knew what was going to happen and how it should happen. They didn't have any experience, but they just had some information. So if you want to be able to separate fact from bullcrap, and also in addition to separating the fact from the bullcrap, to figure out how to invest your time wisely and effectively, you need to continuously gain education and continuously gain experience. The more education and the more experience you have, the better able you will be to discern what is worth your time. And that takes time. I know you're like, no, I just want you to give me a simple, easy answer. I can't give you a simple, easy answer. The simple, easy answer would be, listen to everything I say. Read everything I write. That would be the simple answer. But I can't do that. I can't just give you a simple answer. So when it comes to what to leave in and what to leave out, the more experience you gain, the more education and information you have about that topic, the easier it will be for you to decide to realize what is fact and what is bullcrap, what is a waste of your time, and what is a valuable use of your time. And I hope by this time we are, uh, according to my show notes, this is episode 129. Man, we are cranking these out. I hope by the time you've gotten here that you've made the decision that morning mindset is worth your time. It's worth leaving in. So. Thank you again to Kevin for that topic suggestion. And if you would like to uh, leave a topic suggestion, you can go to morningmindsetpodcast.com and follow the instructions. You're smart people. You're educated. You know what to do. All right. I am your host, Paul Markle, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.